Hi everybody, this is your daily card for the 22nd of January. I'm just giving you the uh, Lenamon meaning because I'm using the Lenamon deck and um, you can get, get different meanings, numerology, uh, cartoonsy and the Lenamon. So I'm just doing the Lenamon picture. So this is the tarot. Okay, so let's get started. Um, this is for Capricorn. Capricorn, you have the Page of Swords. Something will become clear to you. You will get news or you might um, meet a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian today. And if you've chosen um, a Lenormand, then you have the Crossroads. You might have to make choices or decisions today. Okay, let's go on to uh, Aquarius. Aquarius, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. What you sow, you shall reap. But remember, it takes time to uh, blossom and then you can harvest it. You might be waiting on something to harvest or to come to fruition. If you've chosen the Lenormand, then you've got the bear. The bear means luck is on your side, but there could be somebody that is jealous of you. But you can stand your ground. You're big, strong and dominant. Ugh, you're there. Good for you. And now we're going over to Pisces. Pisces, if you've chosen the tarot, then you've got the Queen of Cups. You might be meeting somebody that's loving, passionate and nurturing, sexy and sensual. Um, this could be a man with the feminine side to him. That's, um, he might be nurturing and handsome, ooh, 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 but he is caring. Okay, and he's lovable. Okay, uh, or you might be meeting a lady, like I said, the Queen of Cups. And this could be a Cancer, this could be a Scorpio or a Pisces, like yourself. Or you might be tickling yourself today, spoiling yourself. Uh, that me that's tickling is English. You might be um, uh, just nurturing your needs for today and taking care of yourself if you're not meeting an other water sign. And if you've chosen Lenormand, then the answer is yes. You're coming home to a safe haven. You can see the boat is coming in. Okay, and you're feeling safe and comfortable there. And you're going to stay there. Okay, and now we're going over to Aries. And you've got the Six of Cups. Somebody might be coming back from the past and bringing you a gift. Here you can see that the boy is giving a gift to the girl or the girl's giving a gift to the boy. If you've chosen the tarot, if you've chosen Lenormand, you've got the stalk. You might want to choose both of them and see whether they answer your question even more. Okay, Aries, you might be moving home as the stalk means moving home. There might be a, a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or in an issue that is going on. You might be hearing of a birth or giving birth. This could be a, of a child or a materialistic thing like a job or a, that there is a vacancy going or a new home. Boom. Okay. Now, Let's go over to Taurus. Taurus, you've got the Four of Swords, and that means uh, is advising you to sit quietly or meditate and evaluate. Take time out, go have a short trip. Okay, if you've chosen the Lenormand, then you've got the garden. That means reunion and parties or gatherings, meetings, you name it. Could be anything, but you might be meeting somebody uh, from the past as well, or re reunite with somebody. Okay, Jimmy Jim Jims. Now you've got the world. The world is uh, means you've got the world in your hands. 
and there is an ending coming to a phase in your life, a full circle. So if there is an ending, there is also going to be <coughs> a new beginning. You feel in balance. You've got your equilibrium. Okay, you can see a lady here, honest, she's honest. Um, so you're as honest as the daylight and you're balanced because she's got two buttons helping her balance. You're in your strength. Okay, you might be, something might be going into the next level um, because it's round, it's like the wheel. Um, this could be uh, uh, refurbishing your house, uh, modernizing your house, uh, could be the next level in a relationship or at work. This could be a totally new job. You might be moving home. You might be going on holiday. This is also my karma card. What if you've done good, you'll get it back threefold. If you've done bad, you will get it back threefold. Okay, if somebody's done that to you, they will get it back threefold as well. If you've chosen um, <clears throat> the Lena Mum card, you've got a beautiful card. There is a new beginning. I'm going to say that because the angels are showing you that they're here for you. Don't give anybody any ammunition to use against you because this card is the whip and the broom. Um, and that means disagreements, arguments. So don't give anybody any ammunition. And if somebody's not willing to listen, then walk away and come back another day. Okay, then it's not the right time, but don't argue, okay? Otherwise it will bring you out of your balance if you've chosen to. And I would say, now cho cho see whether the, the card number two will enlighten or give you more information with card number one. Now we're going to Cancer. And you have the Ace of Rods. The Ace of Rods. That means a totally new beginning. This could be with a fire sign. Um, new passion. They stand for passion and action and creativity. So if you do meet a Leo, Aries, or um, what you call it, um, a Sagittarius, then there could be a new beginning in a relationship or a friendship, a new friendship. But make sure you know your boundaries and you let them know because they're quick, quick, quick. And you might just be a little bit more peaceful, slower than what they are. So make sure you let them know what you want and what you expect and what you can do. A wish is coming true. If you've chosen the Lena Mum, Perhaps your wish was to get uh, involved with a fire sign because you want a passion. But remember, passion doesn't last. So make sure that if you want a, a fully fledged relationship to give your um, uh, boundaries, okay? And know your boundaries. Now we're going on to Leo and you've got the chariot. You've got public recognition, uh, Leo. Okay, you have victory. He is the victor. He has won the race of the chariots. You could be meeting a Cancer Leo. And Cancer just had the Ace of Wands. So they are meeting fire signs and you're a fire sign. So that is very coincidental. Ooh, this is fate. So you might be just somebody's Cancer's wish. Okay, you might be going on holiday or a short trip. You might be moving home, but you're moving forward, forward and upward. Could be a promotion because you have public recognition. There is a new start for you. You're in a transform. You're in a transformal period at the moment. You're leaving the old behind and you're going on to the new. Good for you. You're becoming the butterfly. You're no longer the caterpillar. Now we're going to Virgo. Virgo, you've got the emperor. And the emperor also means that you might be meeting an Aries. He represents Aries. 
um, and um, also um, he is an advisor. You might seek advice from a mature or older man. This could be a professional or a father figure. This could be an advocate, lawyer, doctor, school teacher, you name it. But it will be a mature man or an Aryan. And if, you know, you can't be an Aryan. Um, okay, never mind. Otherwise, I would say you might be the advisor. Perhaps you might be the advisor to an Aryan. Okay, that is you, Fergie. Okay, Fergie, you, uh, not Princess Fergie. <laughs> and if you've chosen uh, your Lenormand card or both, then you've got the mice. You might have lost something or somebody might have stolen it, taken it away. So perhaps if you know who it is, you might be seeking advice from a, a, an advocate or a lawyer, like I said. And if you are busy, um, then ask for help. Don't shy away to ask for help from others. Mice also work in groups. Okay. Um, many hands make light work. Also, something might be gnawing at you, so come out of your head. Look at the fairy just sitting there pondering, thinking, or you might be depressed. Take a choice. Make a choice. Okay, and come out of your head. And then the depression will be over, so take action. Okie dokie. Now on to Libra. And Libra, you have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. That is, I think, Virgo, um, because the, she is Mother Earth. And the Queen of Pentacles is a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. You might be meeting one of these people. Okay. Um, uh, no, she, well, no, she's not, she's Mother Earth, she's not Virgo, sorry, I got that wrong. It's not the small arcana, but it could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus, because she represents, she's the Pentacles. Um, yes, I was thinking another way, because the big arcana, uh, like the Emperor, is an Aries, like the Chariot is Cancer, so, but she is a person. And she represents pentacles, the earth theme. So you might, uh, she's a caring, and she stands for fertility. She's Mother Earth. She's caring, nurturing, and all that. Uh, but she also stands for fertility. So you might hear of a birth of a child or a new project, a new job, a new house, a new something. Something needs to grow. She also stands for growth. She's got green fingers. Um, and uh, blossoming and harvesting. So if you've made an investment in the past, you might see your return now, today. Okay. So also, so you might hear of a, you might hear of a new job if you're seeking about a job. Okay. There we go. Now, if you've chosen, um, uh, the Lenormand, then you might be bored or depressed um, because you might be too much in your head. Look at that little fairy sitting there pondering, boom, 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 with the hands, her chin in her hands. You've got like, it's like a bit like a crossroads. Have faith, have trust, make that decision and that it's the right decision. Others have faith and trust in you. Look at the Queen of Pentacles. It's looking at you to make a decision. It will be okay because she also represents investments and growth. Okay, don't be scared, but don't do things in haste. But now it's the time to make a decision or a choice. Okie dokie. You might, yeah, hang on a minute, there was other something else. Just the crossroads, feeling depressed. Hmm. So take action and make a choice, and then you'll be all right. 
No, it is okay. There's somebody around you. Perhaps you might want to discuss it with a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus. Okay, Libra? Don't worry, you won't get out of balance. Okay, now we're going on to Scorpio. And Scorpio, you've got the Four of Pentacles. You've closed yourself off big time. So open up your mind to new things, to wisdom. Okay? Be open to learning. You never stop learning. Okay. And open up your heart and your emotional uh, chakra, your solar plex. Then happiness. And come in. Because this man looks rather tedious, tired and bored. So take a rest. Take a rest. And open yourself up. And be happy. Let the happiness and luck Come in. Oh, you might have an argument. Well, it's going to be short-lived, okay? If you open yourself up, then the light will come through. After rain comes sunshine. Remember that. Become positive. Okay. Sagittarius, last but not least. You're getting recognition for your hard work. This could mean a promotion or a new study. And if you've chosen um, the Lenormand card or both, then there are things you don't know and that needs studying. So you might need to do more research to get to where you want to go. Okay, and have that legacy, but you're already nearly there. You are, People are noticing you because you've got recognition. You are in the spotlights, so it's positive. The moon is shining path on your, uh, is shining light on your path. So you will, you are on the right road, okay? Listen to your intuition and your emotions. And intuition and sensitivity might be heightened at today. Okay, so long you listen to your feeling, uh, feelings and your intuition, you'll be safe. So have a nice day, everybody. Please uh, give us the thumbs up and share with family and friends. I'll see you later. Ciao, ciao.